All right. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is uh, going to be a 100 subscriber special, and um, I wanted to uh, first do a shout out to the community on YouTube and the reception that I have gotten from all of you guys, uh, plus the support on ISM has been fantastic, and I can't thank you enough. Um, you know, thanks to Hamilker Barkas, thanks to Cohen, um, thanks to Old Git, uh, thanks to Panzermeister36 and um, Schweinehund 227 or you know aka Norm LaJoy uh, you guys are great uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel also don't forget uh, Dutch modeling and uh, Hollywood modeling also known as Hoger Bear on ISM uh, I, I really appreciate the support and uh, everything that uh, you guys have shown me uh, through this process and hopefully I will do uh, more builds uh, I'd like to do a build review at some point I haven't figured out quite how to do the camera work Somebody may uh, give me some tips on that. But thanks again for the support and everything that you do. Uh, I realize I'm, I'm new to the community, so you guys really don't know who in the hell I am. <laughs> um, I've had a YouTube channel for quite some time. I thought I was going to do the model railroading thing, and if you've looked at my channel, you've probably seen some of those videos. I, I apologize. I realize they may not be that interesting. Um, in fact, there's an in-scale model train layout just to the left of the camera. If you guys really want to see it sometime, I'll show it to you. If you, It's in my uh, previous um, um, videos. But uh, um, Model railroading, guys, is a money pit. Uh, it's fun. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to it. I mean, it's not just uh, you know building and construction and uh, collecting the cars and the locomotives, but it's incredibly expensive. Um, Locomotives can range from $75 a piece US all the way to $250 a piece depending on the detail whether or not they're digitally controlled or have sound. And anyways, I don't want to go get into trains, but a little bit about my background. Um, I live in Fort Worth, Texas, which is part of the greater Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Um, native Texan, six generations, I'm proud to say that. Uh, um, I am a veteran. Um, I served um, in the U.S. Army in the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, I was uh, with 42nd uh, Brigade, you know, Headquarters Battery, Field Artillery, and then 4th Battalion, 82nd Field Artillery. Uh, I was deployed um, during the first uh, Gulf War, but I never saw combat. Um, the fighting was over by the time we got our vehicles off the, off the boat. Um, I was in the field artillery. I was not a, uh, you know, what we used to call a, a gun bunny. I was not a, uh, uh, you know, um, in the gun line. I was in the, you know, I was what we called a forward observer, a fire support specialist. That was my job. So I've got an interesting insight to, uh, you know, artillery and large caliber guns. I've always had an interest in it. Um, I have kind of a different job. Um, I work for a major Asian electronics manufacturer that you guys would all know which I'm not really allowed to discuss without their permission in public, um, but I work for their appliance division. And um, I am kind of a field rep, so to speak. That's kind of what I do. And you don't care about all that. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's the best background about me. I am married. Um, my wife and I have no kids, and I've got a cute little furry dog. It's a mixed breed that we adopted from an animal shelter. He's half boxer, half um, German Shepherd, uh, we love him. His name is Jerry. In fact, I may do a video on him someday if you guys really want to see it. And uh, you know, my channel is gonna, as you've seen so far, it's gonna consist mainly of kit reviews, uh, slide, you know, slideshows of my completed work, uh, maybe a build review if I get the courage to do that. Um, I want to start doing figures. Um, I, they horrify me. <laughs> Hamilker uh, has really been encouraging, encouraging me to do that. So has Panzermeister been encouraging me to try figures. I need to. Um, but I'm concerned about um, the little fine details, and my my you know 40 plus year old eyes don't see as good as they used to. So, and I've got a uh, visor, I've got a magnifier. Um, I guess I just need to take my time. But guys, I just I can't say enough for everything that you've done to support me, and to say thank you to the community. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a giveaway of a kit. Now I'm not going to tell you what this kit's going to be yet. That's going to be in a follow up video. So, um, here's how I want to do this. And I, I don't do care where you are in the world. And yes, Hamilker and Cohen, I want you to enter in. Uh, we're going to have a drawing. So, uh, shoot me a message on my discussion board on my channel. Um, 
and uh, not on the not on the comment section. Shoot it shoot it in the discussion board on my channel. Um, let me know if you don't know how to do that. Just you know, say hey, I want to be involved in the drawing, and uh, I'll put everybody's name in a piece of paper, and then in a, in a follow up video, we'll do a drawing, and I'll announce it, and I'll reveal the kit then. And um, <clears throat> I think it'll be fun. Uh, it's also it's a gr I think it's a it's a good way for me to to give back to the community, and um, I. Uh, I've been happy to uh, to to help out people if I if I can, um, you know. Please let me know. Um, but uh, you know, I, I don't want to drag this out. I just wanted to say thanks. Um, oh, uh, one other thing about the giveaway um, before I get ahead of myself, we need to put a time limit on when you want to you know try to enter uh, into the drawing. Uh, today is the nineteenth, uh, right, of January? Yes. Um, Let's say uh, by uh, close of business or around 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on the 21st, which would be Tuesday, uh, all entries need to be submitted. I'm sorry, guys, I got to cut it off at some point. So I, you know, it's, you got a little over 48 hours to uh, submit your name in for the drawing, and uh, of course, um, you know, after the drawing, you're going to have to send me your info so I can send you the kit. Um, but uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, I can't, really, I can't, I can't say enough. Thank you for the support, um, the, the kind words, and I don't mind criticism. Norm, in a video you did, uh, not, not excuse me, not Norm Cohen, in a vid you did uh, when you're working on your decals. I watched it last night on your on your. By the way, your gorgeous leopard. Uh, you talk about how you don't want to criticize anybody. I understand, um, but yeah, I'm open to criticism. I think that's how we grow. You know, obviously, I don't want to be trashed, but um, please feel free. Uh, I'm always open to any constructive criticism because I'm new at this and uh, I'm not a master like you guys are. <laughs> but uh, once again, um, you know, I can't say it enough. Thank you for the support. You know, 100 subscribers. I actually made 101 as of this morning. Wow. Uh, I went from like 12 subscribers to 101 in like two and a half weeks, and I, I'm amazed uh, from the support and everything that uh, everybody's given me. And I hope you have a good day, and um, I'll see you on YouTube.